I <clears throat> I thought I would do a um, kind of a tutorial on some of the different uh, fitness um, stations or centers, whatever you guys call it, um, for what I do for my fourth and fifth graders. Um, so this is just an idea here that I set up for different fitness uh, activities that I do with uh, my uh, students and I will walk you through it here and then uh, more information will be on the blog as well as different exercises that you can do with your fourth and fifth graders and things like that. Um, bear with me some of the graphics here that I've that I've uh, cited and stuff like that um, uh, don't show up the best but um, I'll explain it here. So on the signal, what I do with my kids is I have a uh, an app workout on my iPad where I can set up different intervals. So let's say I want, want the activity to go for a minute and a half. And then after that, it gives them a little a different type of sound, like um, which tells them to rotate to the next uh, station. And I usually give them about 10 seconds, things like that. And then after the 10 seconds up, it will give them another sound. And that's the student signal that um, it's time to begin that uh, workout at that particular station. Um, and you can find a lot of different apps and things like that. Mine I use on my iPad is called Interval Timer. And I like it a lot. Um, very easily uh, user-friendly. User anyway... On the signal, let's say I have a student here. We'll just put in a different signal here or a shape to represent the students. Let's see. let's put in All right, let's say let's say this white star is a student, okay? So, on the signal, um let's say that their first station is here, okay? Now, uh, this station here is Speed Stacks. This is one of the stations that I use, and my students absolutely love it. And um, just an idea, kind of change the pace, things like that, so they can do different speed stacks and see how fast I can take them down, things like that. This is actually a station I do K through 5 when we're doing stations. Then on the signal, that's the, the student with his partner. I usually have two people or three people in a group. We'll run to this next station, obviously followed by the arrows. Now, I actually go and buy different arrows that I can place on the floor. So these are arrows, and they're usually different colors. Um, and I love them. Uh, little foam arrows that point the students into what direction they should be traveling, things like that. So anyway, um, this student here, this is a center that I love where I use a... This is a Buso ball right here. This is a Buso ball and then a poly spot. Okay, one student, one uh, student is throwing to their partner. So obviously, if they have a partner here, okay, and this guy's here, right? This partner would be throwing either a frisbee or a ball to their partner while they're trying to balance on the Buso ball. I usually go about five catches and then. Uh, they switch to make sure everybody gets a chance. Then, again, on the ding or on the signal after the time is up, okay, these two guys would follow the arrows on to the next uh, center. And this is one that I really like to do. It's an ab twist. It is an ab twist workout uh, that I do with the kids. Obviously, it's on a mat. Um, I give them a medicine ball if they're strong enough to do the technique right. If they can't, they just rotate with their feet up and try to use their hands and rotate. Okay, then on the signal. On the signal, the these two kiddos would go to this next center. And this center, obviously, is a wall sit. Okay, so this would be a my mat. This is underneath the basketball hoop. It's got a mat along the wall, so these two students would sit along the mat and try to hold as long as they can for the minute. If they can't, they usually go 30 seconds. Okay, and then on the signal, again, they would run to the next center. Okay, and obviously by those little squiggly lines, what this is, these are just jump ropes. They can either do forward, backward, crisscross, jump roping station. 
Okay, and again, if they need to take a break, they can. Um, and they try to go for a minute and a half. Then on the signal, they would follow their arrow again. This is another uh, little a activity that I love to work with the uh, fourth and fifth graders. It is a plank plank exercise. Just so they have to do a forearm plank. They try to hold it as long as they can. Again, if they catch it, if they uh, uh, need a break, they can do that. And then I try to encourage my students to start again. Then on the next signal, this is just a review. I like this one um, as I review for the kids to balance and try and catch again as they did over here. Let's say they just ran out of time and one person only got two catches, then they have another opportunity to try and work on that with the Busso ball. Then on the signal, they have another jump roping station that I did. Um, now, for instance, if they did forwards here, they could do backwards here and try and change it up. Again, going for a minute, getting that heart rate going. Okay, and then now I get lucky enough that in my gym, we bought the functional fitness. My district got this functional fitness, so I actually have um, two jungle gyms that are attached to the wall that I can use by carabiners, and they can actually work on trying and uh, do some back extensions or if that uh, they can rotate those around and actually try and work on some forearm um, kind of like a bench press alternate their arms things like that and uh, obviously more instruction will be on the blog after I post this and then finally lucky enough that my gym has a uh, rock wall so the students would be here climbing at the rock wall and things like that and then obviously if there's time permits in class okay they would rotate to the next station again and those are just some ideas for uh, different fitness centers for fourth and fifth graders thanks